So, Howard China has been a staple in the DC and Howard community since 1995. They've gone through iterations and changes, yet they're still the same spot serving Chinese takeout, and they've been doing so for almost 30 years at this point. Today, me and my friends decided to try it. It was my first time having it, and I figured I'd share that experience with y'all, let y'all know what it's really about. So, watch as me and my friends bond over food that, if we ate consistently, would probably kill us the next 10 years. I hope you enjoy. They had you on a pool at 8 a.m.? 8 a.m., bro. I didn't even go eat breakfast after, bro. I just nah. went and took a nap. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually type hungry right now. Hungry? Me too, I can't lie. But what, what is even open right now? Hey, bro, I think that John Howard China. Howard China? Yeah, Ho Chi. You know, I haven't had that before. I heard it's, I heard it's decent, but I, I heard it's good price. I never had it either, bro, but I heard it's only cash. So we gotta hit I got, I got, I got bartender tips. Hey, what's up? You want the yacht gummy? <laughs> the yacht gummy. Mm, the yacht gummy. <laughs> I get a drink with that? Can I get General Tso's chicken? Can I just get a small? No Tso's chicken or what? That's it, just a small. Small General Tso's chicken? Yes, please. You can keep the change, right? Five cents. Okay. That man trying to flex for the YouTube. Yeah, bro. They only said I don't yeah, need nah, it, bro. Let's just take a look around real quick. Take a look around. Right at the entry point. I was inside. <laughs> Cash only got this weird ass ATM outside. Yeah, four wings and one shrimp egg roll. I'm trying to. If you try to preserve it, if you try to preserve it, we gotta go to Las Vegas, bro. Damn, bro. I'm not gambling. You know what I'm saying? You can go to Vegas to gamble. You're not gambling, bro. I'm keeping my money. I love that name, man. Y'all wanna know what they call Chinese food in China? What? Food. <laughs> <laughs> right, I love y'all, man. Have a good mukbang, G. Alright. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alive. Sorry. I left my keys. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? My name is Max. I'm here with some of my good, not even some of my, my good friends. Here, you know what yes I'm saying? Sir. If y'all new to the channel, my name is Max Bugatti. Um, all of us attend the Los Street Tower University, but we're also and just you? you, you know, we're also just multifaceted individuals. So, um, y'all want to introduce yourself real quick before we get started? Yeah, for sure. Hey, yeah. What's up with y'all, man? I am Joshua Hughes. Uh, I go by Just Josh. I'm a multi-hyphenate, multi-creative artist, and I'm also a mathematics major and secondary education minor. I'm trying to teach the kids, man. Okay. Peace and blessings, everybody. I'm Isaac Alicia, senior at Howard University, studying business man business management with a concentration in entrepreneurship. Um, my love, my focus is business. Um, I love helping the communities and inspiring new entrepreneurs. So. Like June said earlier, chase your dreams, work hard, and everything will turn out how you invest into yourself and those things that you want to see happen. What's up, y'all? My name is Melvin Curtis from Glowhorn the third. Name's so good, they had to name me three times. <laughs> but um, I'm a history major and minor in legal communications here at Howard. Um, I'm also going to the Next, my next venture is going to be a, a full-time student at Duke Law School. So, yeah, man, I'm just really, I'm really just blessed, bro. Like, to, like to come up with these guys. Like, if you guys been watching Max's videos, you probably seen the come up that we've like obtained. So, I've never had Howard trying to have y'all, huh? Hochi. Nah, this is my first time. I've it. had it. This is my first time trying their mambo sauce. So I've heard mambo. that. Mambo. They say mambo in DC. You might get flamed for that. Is mumbo? This is mumbo for it's mumbo sure. Yeah. I've had it. This is my first time trying to mumbo sauce. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 
gentrification. Bro, I'm not from here, bro. Like, but look, I'm trying it, right? I heard the only real place to get it from it's is from Chinese. Chinese. No, from Chinese carryout. From anywhere, like Chinese okay. carryout, they have the real mumbo sauce. You know, it's supposed to be bright red. It's supposed to be sweet. I took a peek. It looks pretty red, so I'm excited to try it. Um, and we'll review it, too. I don't know what a mukbang is, but I'm going to review it. What I got from Ho Chi. So. Before I even start though, like I got a small. This was like eight dollars ninety five cents. This is like, dang, packed, bro. Like, <laughs> like I got some food in here. Um, yeah, yeah. Whole week. You got a burger. I did. This is my first time trying the burger. Um, it was like five dollars and some change. I also got the classic sweet tea lemonade mix. Why am I struggling to open this? Oh, oh. we should do an unboxing. Burger, you know what I'm saying? Got the bacon cheese. Mm. Looks that pretty good. Mm. Looks pretty good. This is mine. I closed it. Can someone open it for me? Look at the teamwork, man. Yeah. Oh, I told you it was hard to open, right? Oh, damn, that's so much food. That's what I'm saying. That's actually OD. That's like, I might not even finish all that. Okay. Shut <laughs> wow. Yo. That actually looked good. Yeah. So I got I got the wings with the fried rice, right. five piece rings. It was with like the 10, mumbo It was like ten fifty. Trade money. This I got the chicken and broccoli. You know I gotta keep it clean, keep it healthy. Uh, I used to be an athlete, so yeah, this was about nine dollars and seventy five cents. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. That ain't healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro got MSG yeah. all over it. Right. And crack. <laughs> All right, I got a question though. Oh wait, let, you want, let's let's, let's pray. Yeah, let's let's pray. pray. Dear Lord, bless the food we're about to receive to nourish our bodies in Jesus Christ's name and sake. Amen. 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 Okay. Now, realistically, this can't be that good, right? Try it. Let's see. Initial thoughts. I mean, it's mm. really hard. It's hot. Mm. <laughs> bro, for real? Mm hmm. This is good, actually. This shit, bro, I'm not gonna lie. This burger is probably like comparable to like five guys. That's bro. big. It looked like it, low key. That's the first time you had the burger? And yes. it has bacon on it. Oh my god. Sheesh. For the mm. price, though, this is like, I'm. Yeah, this is, this is good. Mm hmm. And there's so many things on the menu where it's like, oh yeah. You could probably get a different thing for like two months straight. These are pretty good too. First, first taste. Mhm. Mm Not bad. Bro, what? I love the broccoli. You like the beef and broccoli? Yeah, yeah chicken and broccoli. Man. Oh, chicken and broccoli. Chicken and broccoli. That's going crazy. What beef and broccoli? Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. These the beef and broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing. Shout out to the Timmys, man. Where's my mother? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would y'all rather only be able to eat fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. and drink water mm -hmm. or be able to eat whatever you want, mm -hmm. but you can only eat once a day? Ooh. I think the eat once a day one. Well, can I eat like as much as I want? Mm -hmm. I'll eat once a day. Cause I like the idea of eating fruits and vegetables and water, but like, ooh, I don't know. But you could like, you could like, vegetables is kind of versatile though. You Very do, like, yeah. Squash, mashed potatoes. Right. Yeah. I I I'll, I'll probably do fruits and vegetables. I think I would too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because once a day, it's like I. Right. Once a day isn't hard. Eat at like 3 p.m. You ain't eat as much as you can. Try yeah, to fill yourself not, up. Like, then you're gonna get like, hungry, bro. You're not accounting like your metabolism and stuff. I probably choose once a day too. That's what I'm saying. You can you can still eat fruits and vegetables. Special feature in the mukbang. Shout out to Aurora Market and big shout out to Aurora Market. If you if you tune into the channel, you've seen Aurora Market a few times. Yep. Aurora Market, yeah. Sammy. Let me let me show y'all. Get them get them a close up. Let me show y'all, bro. That's the real truth right there. Ten out of ten every time. Made by who? Made by who? 
Yours truly. Uh-huh. Yes, Josh. Shout out to Aurora Market though, man. For real. Pablo is a is an amazing military veteran and just community pillar for real. Just providing spaces where people can come and it's really a one-stop shop. You know, you can come and get your typical day-to-day -day groceries, food, uh, beverages, you know, bevs, um, <laughs> your lifestyle items, like yeah. things you would need, toiletries, things for the house. As well as, uh, you know, come for events too. We have a super great event space downstairs where we host, you know, comedy shows, artist showcases, jam sessions, you know, just social gatherings, whatever. Um, and then that's Aurora Market, 500 Irving, mm -hmm. Northwest DC. And give my man a tip when you're in there. <laughs> that pause. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Until you said it. <laughs> okay, what do you think over there? Man. Damn, you put it away too. Yeah. I'm busting this down. <laughs> I'm busting this down. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the sweet tea though. Sweet tea lemonade mix. That's a nice. It's called an mm. Arnold Palmer. It's called a Sunjoy. That's that's some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Who was Arnold Palmer to where they named the whole tea? I Who is a golfer? Really? Yeah. yeah. PGA champion. Yeah. He was. He That's was that was his drink of choice, of course. Yeah. Uh, bro, what? I mean, I know it was a Tiger Woods type shit. Like, yeah. That's the only black right. man's name you know that plays golf. Name another one. Michael Jordan. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know anybody <laughs> hey, else shit. that plays golf, white or black. Same. Respectfully. I know Tiger Woods and. Richie Jones. I don't know about you. <laughs> Andy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the golf team at one point. Really? My freshman year in high school, yeah. Golf is Not like I was good, but I was on it. Golf team and swim team? Swim team was middle school. For a second, I didn't know if that was in the crib or not. When I go back home, I'm in like the neighborhood hero, bro. Be like, Trey, yeah. money! Bro, if I, I go, go back, back home, school, I don't even know what home is anymore. I get, all, I get, to, sit, I get to sit on like the, um... <laughs> bro, home is really hard to hear, bro. Home is right here. Hmm. Yeah, this is the second home though, for real. It really is. It really is. Yeah, I go back home, bro. I get uh, all the games for free and shit. King, King of Pressure just built a top glove. Really? I'm lit. Word. That's hard. That's like one of my favorite things. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is happening. In Maine? Back in Maine or Illinois. <laughs> Maine. If you even heard of Maine before, leave a comment. <laughs> my man is so for real. Like, Name your city. What city? There's no way they're heard of the city. What's it, what's it called? Waterville. Ain't no way. Yo, my, my I'm repping Waterville, bro. Hey, if anybody from Waterville is watching this, leave a comment. We're going to rep the Ville right now. Anybody from Sicklerville? Lakeville. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> all from the Ville. Rating? Let's rate it. Uh, this, I would say 7.2 out of 10. In terms of. What you're getting for the price, quantity, quality, all that, I'll give it a cool 7.5. And because the only reason it's up at a 7.5, I, I rate 7.5 as high, personally. I'm, I'm very strict critic. Mostly because of the quantity. Mm. Quality is decent, but the quantity for, I paid $8.95 for this. And I'm, I've been eating this whole time, and I've, I barely put a dent in it. So, mm -hmm. That's me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> For the burger, man, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I'm a big burger guy. I get burgers, like, pretty much as, like, the baseline for whatever restaurant I go to. Um, that being said, for, like Max said, for everything that you're getting, price, quality, quantity, all of that, I give it a cool 9.5. Damn! For real, like, honest to God. And the only thing, literally the only thing that, like, was a little bit, like, threw me off just a little bit was the bacon was just, like, slightly not, like, I wanted it to be crispier. Okay. It was, like, a little, yeah. It was almost, like, not slimy, but, like, I slick. I had to, like, snap it yeah, off yeah, the yeah. burger type shit. I know, it was turkey bacon. Yeah, I wanted, that, I wanted the bacon a little it's bit crispy. crispier. But after that, everything else was the Aurora Market sandwich. I get that a 10 out of 10 every time. True. It looked good. I'm not even going to lie. Chicken and broccoli, 
you really can't go wrong with it. So um, they steam the rice, which is excellent in that sense. Um, so I would give it a nine point five out of ten, uh, just because the sauce, the sauce was hidden. On the really? Chicken. The sauce was hidden. What was it? Teriyaki? Yeah, it was teriyaki sauce. Um, the teriyaki sauce was hidden. Add that with the with the broccoli. And just, it makes more of a combination. <clears throat> man. You can't go wrong with it. It's unbeatable. It's unbeatable. I think I'm gonna have to call y'all tomorrow and see like how y'all stomach feeling. <laughs> 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 y'all think uh, Chadwick was in there? Probably, probably, mm -hmm. probably yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I hope he was. A lot of people. R.I.P. Chad, man. What's y'all zodiac? Aries, Sun, Virgo, Moon, Gemini, right? Okay, I didn't need the whole three. I don't remember mine, so now I'm, I feel dumb. I don't even know what time I was born, but I'm a Scorpio. Why do you sound so sad when you said that? Because <laughs> people be hating on Scorpios. That's cool. People Not hate on every zodiac, quite yeah. literally. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an Aries as well. I'm sad. Sad. What does that mean? If y'all had to like describe yourself <clears throat> as a zodiac person, well, the Aries is the Fun. leader of the zodiac. If you want to speak of that, so I think I really have like leadership qualities. Stubborn in the sense that you know I want what I want, and I really want to get it in any means necessary. But I also have an emotional side that allows me to like deeply connect through empathy with others. Like I can just imagine myself in other people's perspectives. <laughs> Alright, so they say that Scorpios are from the other side. So Scorpio, it's uh, the planet is Pluto. And so like that's the furthest away. It's ruled by like dark energy. Um, I don't really even know what that entails or what that means, but from what I know, Scorpios are very creative and they're very um, imaginative within their own world with their own uh, mind power. So I've, I always find creative ways to solve problems. Um, I'm very intrigued in philosophy and having deep conversations, very intense experiences, and very intense you know, learning. I'm always learning always observing things around me and picking up like the deeper meaning in between everything. So just very connected, very balanced. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so as for Sagittarius, um, some qualities that I've been told that I like, that I've been still is on um, one, being kind of just confident in a sense, like, I like, but it's not confidence that's, very much so arrogant in a sense, but it's just like very confident in myself um, and how I and how I speak and how I carry myself. That's mainly because like I practice. I'm a very habitual person when it comes to like um, my practices. Like I, I think that practice makes perfect in a sense. So also intellectual, very keen on an intellectual tip. So just like kind of quick witted, um, sly in a sense. Yeah, those are some qualities. Um, for me, my understanding of it, at least when I was younger, was I used to be really into Percy Jackson. Hey. And hey. Ares or Mars is the god of war. Mm -hmm. Um, and the way I internalize that is just going through day to day, especially during this time, this very moment in time when you're watching this. I think it's a war every day. It's a spiritual war. It's a physical war against yourself, but also against whatever is in your way, i.e. probably social media. Um, <laughs> but keep watching the video. Leave a like, actually. Probably subscribe and comment, because it helps me help you, actually. But yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's I think, that's my understanding of Zodiac. I don't really know. Yeah. <clears throat> We're men at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah, at the end of the day, the day gonna end. What are y'all? You guys seen them? Yeah, what's your Zodiac? Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah drop, your, drop your Zodiac in the comments. I don't give a f about your Zodiac. I do. I don't. Don't drop it. I don't want to be a Zodiac channel. I'm curious. Don't listen to Max. Y'all, wait, no. Leave a he comment. Says, leave what you want. Wait, wait, wait. He wait. says that with a crystal on his, on his day. <laughs> <laughs> Crystals are different. 
Leave a leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment if you think I should get my chart read. You can make that video. and make it a video. Bro, I gotta get in the pool tomorrow. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get crazy, crazy, you know, bro. The bro, you're gonna <laughs> jump in, just sink right to the bottom, bro. <laughs> That's pain. Yeah, bro. bro, just so y'all know, I don't know, Josh, have you read your syllabus? Y'all, I have to tread water. This is part of a 11 step final. But part of it is I have to tread water for two minutes. And then afterwards, I'm done with the two minutes, I have to recite the Howard University alma mater while I'm treading water. Yeah, we don't have to do that. That's 11 steps? It's 11 steps. And that's that's only months. two of them. That was two of them. Ours is like yeah. six laps back and forth. Um, Could have And then like you have to do the right movements. You have to do the correct breathing technique. <laughs> this shit gets me hot, bro. Bro, it's so crazy, bro. <laughs> Do your homework on the requirements to graduate your college. For you real. know what I'm saying? Because I actually will be graduating in the fall due to me having uh, just classes that I was required to take, like swimming and, you know, health or humanities classes that have nothing to do with my major and that I was never advised that I had to take. So I can take you. That's a whole other video just about how... The degree work situation. Yeah, we get it. Our advising situation. Yep. Um, Comment if y'all want another Howard video. They gonna they're gonna say yes. <laughs> they're gonna yeah. This might be the most important video too, because it could really be the difference whether or not you graduate in four years or, or right. not. Yeah. Because if I make a video like that, I need y'all to share it so that because look, people at Howard watch my videos, but the people that need to see the change that needs to happen, I don't think are seeing my videos. Which means they're not big enough. But y'all can help us. We can make Howard the place to actually be. It already is, but at the same time, it's got work to do. And I feel like half of the work that needs to be done is from the students. Wait, no, because wait. Most. Wait, I, is this, I want to talk about this. I'm going to air this out right here because if you made it to this point in the video, you're a real one, you deserve to hear this. I give you all the real advice, yep. the real love, the real experience, no fabrication. I would say decent quality. So me personally, I think I'm the best. Is right. that arrogant? Right. I don't care. I saw, I saw this man hit a rack. Yep. And now he's at four. Yep. Hey, bro. Oh. And this is going to keep going to mow. And we're going to keep up with the skull and watching that big grow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, bro. So where were we? Is our shit boring? Do we need to spice it up a little bit? No, that was perfect. Bitch. Everybody pull the dog out. Hey, yo. <laughs> Where'd my hair tie go? That got very violent very fast. Sorry about that, y'all. Women cheat more than men. Do you agree, yes or no? Yeah. It's... Oh, yeah. Everyone... My little homie just got cheated on, bro. What? Damn. Bro, y'all know him. I'm about to say his name. Damn. Bro, he thorough. Damn. That's crazy. I he definitely fumbled. have gotten cheated on more than I've cheated. <laughs> Probably. For sure. Gross, dude, gross. Damn, that was a crazy statement, bro. The other one somebody said was, um, us Jamaican men are just better. And, um, I agree to that sentiment, personally. It's Caribbean men in general, bro. No, it's Jamaican, but it's cool. You can, you can tag in, I guess. Um, in the state of nature, are humans nat- Ooh! Yo, this is actually a good-ass question. In the state, in the state of nature, are humans naturally violent or peaceful? In nature? Yes, I think both is the answer. Yeah. No. Violent. Nature is duality, though. That's what I'm saying. You gotta have one side or the other. I mean, yeah, but in the state of nature, you you also gotta eat. Yeah, and that's like, what I'm saying, both. Yeah, kill to eat. Yeah. yeah. Not necessarily. There are hunter-gatherers. Gatherers. That's what I'm saying. It's not only kill. Like, that's not the only thing you do. Okay. In the state of nature, when you go out to an uncontact tribe, how do they react? Mm -hmm. Scared. And what is that manifesting? Peace or violence? Fear. What is fear manifest itself in? Fight or, or flight? Yeah, yeah, fight or flight. Cowardness, which is, I guess, peace. And it's both. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. Good. First times with significant others, like the cringe stuff. Oh. I don't know what that means. Yeah, like the nasty stuff? <laughs> like the nasty stuff? I don't do nasty stuff, actually. I'm celibate. Yeah, I'm a virgin. Yeah, touch it. Look at that. Consistency and quality. And philosophical debates. Right. Where we I'm opening answers. up your minds, bro. Open your mind. Open your mind. <laughs> Open <laughs> your mind. <laughs> the power. The, power. Yeah. <laughs> the ants. The ants. They're clogging your skin. Damn. You kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Yeah, you're crazy. That was some method shit. <sighs> All right. Thumbnail time. Let's see, I don't want this in this. The big club. Round table. <laughs> Serious face. Hmm. I got a stick in my ass. Fuck! No! No, 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 no. Alright, Let's get right into it. Wait, wait, we're not even. Oh. What's up with the tea kettle? That's noise in the background for sure. That is. Uh, Luckily, this is so bad, hungry, uh, bro. Oh <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just want to say, follow your dreams. You know what I'm saying? Every single one of these young men out here, you know what I'm saying? They not single, but... It's so close. I see it. I'm watching it bubble. It's about to erupt. In five, four, four three, three, two, one, one zero, one, one, three... Two, one, one, three point one, five, 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 six, four, three. Ah! Yes! <laughs> bro, Josh, I need a thumbnail, bro. Bro, here you go, bro. But I just kind of need it back though because it's kind of manicured. You feel me? I don't want to lose it. We, we. You're actually good at that, like, why are you like... Damn. <laughs> Damn, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I don't know if it's the Hochi. No, my he stomach, bro. I gotta, yes, I'm so dead ass. Coons. Bro, where'd you get your car? I went to the Coons. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Am I, do I do it in front of this biker? Is that crazy? Uh, what is... Slow ass. Slow ass, meet me. Mm. Little bitch ass. Me, 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 me. You need some wheels? I'm Johnny <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> bro, I'm so hungry, bro. Chill, bro. Alright, I'm gonna chill. Chill, bro. It's the mukbang, bro. Don't fuck with the okay. mukbang. I bet. Okay, bro. Trey, you got it. You got it. Nah, bro, you don't get water. Mm. So we don't have nothing to talk about. I got a topic for y'all. Mm -hmm. Gay son or thought daughter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get canceled like uh, How is that cancelable? Wow. How is that cancelable? Nah, 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 nah. nah. Either one is acceptable in today's society. Yeah. You Good point. Be whoever you want to be. I agree, but be who it's, you are. it's your preference. We're talking strictly your preference. Gay son or thought daughter? Bro. If you want to explain, you don't have to. I'm gonna go first. I'm going gay son. Same gay son. Yeah. Probably oh, bring that back in. So we all going gay son, huh? I wonder why. I mean, we don't have to go into the specifics. I mean, nah. Like everyone, you know what I'm saying? They have their their life, their preferences, their love. Right. Feel me? If that's your child. You want the best for them. Yeah. And being a you know being a thought, that's not necessarily the best. In my opinion, I agree. But for my daughter, yeah. So many, so many like violations to it, like your health, your mental, your mental, your physical, and your spiritual. Literally yeah. all of them. Literally. Right. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, it's like when we used to sit at the lunch table in high school with the guys. Yeah. Yo, this shit. <laughs> we all hit the. I just ate Chinese food pose. Yeah, I just hit Chinese food pose. Rapping at the lunch table, chilling with the bros. Rapping with the, yeah, you already know. I don't got that flow, but I'ma just go up the skull. I'ma watch my hair grow, just like the locks. 
I'ma dig right out the box. I open the beat and I knock. I'm at the top. And they know I just be Josh. Fuck in my shit, yeah, I'm ballin' like Bosh. You do the beat while I rap and guitar. I just go crazy, yeah, I am not lazy, yeah, I just keep working till I touch the stars. Till I touch the stars, I'm gonna go far. Hop in a mini coupe, it is the car. We is on plan. Mars. Keep we like some Harry, some Scorpio, some Sag, and we is so scary, cause we cannot stop. We is not at the bottom, we is at the top, like Josh said. Georgia will not speak, cause I'm talking with the twang, and you know that she is southern thing, yeah. Diamond chain, it's that shit slang, huh? Took the thing, I took Beijing, I mean Beijing. I just ate Pochi and now I make the Asian girl say things. I just ordered like eight wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, We on the track, yeah. Our skin is black, yeah. How would it be see in Northwest is where we at, yeah. We is on the map, yeah. Bring it right to you, yeah. We is on the on the yeah. Too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How is, yeah. Telling with the crew, yeah. We ain't got no beef, but we is about to move, huh? <laughs> hey. I can't freestyle, but my style free. I wear white blank tops and a white tee. I say, saw your girl, she said, hi, it's me. I say, oh my God, is your name Ming Lee? Now I went to Ho Chi, went to Ho Chi, went to the store. <laughs> Got some more. Yeah, run it out, run it out, run it out. Yeah, I'm trying to get more. Yeah, run it out, run it out, run it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah run it out, dog. Yeah. yeah, run it out, run it out, run it out. Yeah, straight to the top. Straight to the top. Never gonna stop. Run it out, run it out. Huh? so clean, blue like a mop. Keep doing my own thing, stay in your lane. I'm in my zone, yeah. I'm just trying to uh, keep blowing my phone, yeah. All you niggas look like clones, yeah. Yeah, I'm snapping, I'm just going home. I'm just in my home, and I'm with the bros. Yeah. Before the hoes, yeah. Hello, clean. <laughs> <laughs>